ماشین بیرون Good morning friends, it is 5 a.m. and I woke up to work out and here comes Sam. She says good morning. It is getting uh, really harder uh, to wake up at 5 a.m. when it gets cold but it is what it is. So let's go and work out. Tu veux aussi du lait coursé Tu veux aussi du lait coursé Tu veux du lait coursé Voilà ma petite princesse We did it. It's one hour power walk. Right, friends, we did it. I did one hour workout. Um, actually, I did one hour power walk. Um, but I did take my time because I wasn't in rush. So what I did actually before uh, working out, I had a phone call with Minoj and then I snuggled a little bit with my cats and I did one hour power walk. I didn't feel like to do body strength so sometimes it is what it is but I feel like in October I didn't do that well. My October uh, planning, workout planning looks really empty because I was traveling and then this you know body adjustment after traveling and everything but it doesn't matter the but it's really important to just keep going keep going and as I said every day is a little bit different generally speaking I work out four days uh, sorry five days in a week, um, 30 minutes uh, power walk and 30 minutes body strength. It might be like lower body, upper body, I mean it can be abs, but sometimes I feel just to walk and which I did today. Now I'm going to hydrate myself, uh, I do drink like one a spoon of vinegar with a lot of water and 
After that, I will prepare myself a breakfast. Normally, I'm supposed to take a shower, but since my schedule is like not on time, I didn't follow my schedule on time, so I feel like I'm gonna faint, so I have to eat. And also, I need to uh, water my plants. They seem a little bit sad. So what I do use is a random um, apple vinegar and some plain water. Now we are going to have our breakfast, the breakfast together. I had a little bit cold, so I put my sweater. This is like sweater that I put after workout. Uh, whenever I finish my work, my workout because I get sweaty and after that I feel cold. Anyway, it is self-explanation. Uh, what I'm going to show you what looks like my daily breakfast. I prepare every day almost the same thing for Minosh and for myself. Some black tea, Turkish tea, but this one today is not Turkish tea because we have run out. This is black tea with apple and cherry, I guess, but I don't like this one. On the other hand, I don't have any other option. So I do put a lot of lettuce and scramble egg with feta cheese, some tomato. And after that, I will have maybe a coffee. Right, I took a very nice shower. Now I'm going to get ready. <clears throat> Sorry, now I'm going to get ready for the day. Um, I need to do the bed and after that, oh yeah, I sold something on Vinted, so I'm going to uh, ship the order 
and what we will do today i don't know guys we will see it it's gonna be a really spontaneous day so just stick around I'm going to prepare for myself a mug of coffee with some almond milk and then I will go and grab a croissant and then I will go for a walk by the river. Right, I'm ready to go. Uh, I wanted to show you quickly what I'm wearing. So I have my Ralph Lauren sunglasses. There is a jumper from a brand that I really do not like, so I'm not going to mention the name. I have this handy and very warm jacket. It is from uh, Deer Hunter. I have those jeans, mom jeans, they are a little bit big. <laughs> uh, they are from um, Pull and Beer and also my boots are from Eagle. I have the trash with me. I'm taking it out. Right, I just arrived to my destination and there are a few goose. I am a little bit scared, but I don't want to move either. Uh, those goose can fly. Oh no. No. Oh, 
so No, 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 no I don't think so No, 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 no It's never, ever, 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 ever gonna happen I don't think so No, 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 no I don't think so No, 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 no It's never, ever, 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 ever gonna happen I don't think so No, 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 no Maybe someday You'll have it your way Maybe someday It'll all work out Until then So I had to change my place uh, Because the goose, they wanted to eat my croissant And I was very determined and I said no no it's my croissant it's not yours so I <laughs> changed the place it was really nice now it's time to go home and I'm going to uh, light up the fireplace uh, do some editing and then make a pizza oh also we are going to uh, carve pumpkin I don't think so No, 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 no I don't think so No, no, no And now what I'm thinking is might be good idea to replace my summer uh, clothes with the uh, winter clothes. So I'm gonna show you how I organize my um, wardrobe or closet, uh, whatever you call it. Okay, this part, as you see, let me show you there. This part is my work clothes, which means they are business uh, related clothes. So I have a lot of button up shorts, I have a lot of trousers, some, you know, blazers, but my, um, you see only three uh, button up shorts because since it's the end of the week, um, they are going to be washed and ironed and then come back to their place which my dearest uh, cleaning lady helped me out on that and this part is you see is my uh, casual summer clothes section we have a few shorts a lot of button up shirts but they are linen or cotton but mostly linen and I have a lot of linen clothes here all of them linen and some of the dresses that I have they are linen as well so I am going to replace them with the winter clothes
my little straw bag. Actually, this is a new bag that maybe you saw in my Italy. Um, yeah, I think you saw this in my Italy vlog. This is from brand which calls Moon. Uh, I think it's a Japanese brand that I bought. I do really like, even though I think that it's a little bit expensive for what it is. But on the other hand, I think it's quite unique. Um, maybe I can show you a little bit later. I mean, in another vlog, uh, what is this exactly? But I was a little bit disappointed when I received this. The price that I paid, the packaging was really bad. I mean, really, really bad. Maybe because it's, you know, a French boutique sent me. Because in France, unfortunately, they do not pay attention to this kind of details, even though you buy something very expensive. Or maybe the brand itself doesn't care about the packaging. But I still do like this bag. For the moment, I'm going to put this away with my uh, summer clothes. Right, friends, to store my clothes, I use this kind of bags. This is from IKEA. And I do really like this because it's lightweight, but at the same time, it's waterproof. So it will protect my clothes during the winter time until summer. Alright friends, I have finished whatever I need to do. So it took a little bit more than I expected. Now I'm going out to drop off the order that I sold on Minted. And after that I will do a little bit grocery shopping. And then I will come back home and snuggle my cats. And spend a very lovely evening in this beautiful autumn day. Machine à bisous. Machine à bisous. Allez, je me lave les mains, j'arrive. I'm going to 
gonna show you what I bought and also I'm gonna show you what I bought yesterday for Minoj for you know little Halloween treats okay now I'm so excited about that because I have been looking for for this um, the Halloween is not a thing in France and it's very difficult to find the pumpkin to make Jacob lantern but uh, for my luck I found this it's not big it's small it's probably for kids but who cares because uh, during the Halloween evening I'm gonna be alone so I wanted to make something special for myself I'm going to uh, make a lantern with this pumpkin and also I bought a tortilla chips because I want to do guacamole I needed a few uh, mushrooms that I found and also I bought you know a little bit chorizo and also I wanted to make for myself with pizza a little margarita and this is the most expensive lime that I have ever bought in my entire life this one is more than one euro <laughs> it's very funny I got some olive for pizza and of course I got Tabasco because I broke the, a huge bottle of Tabasco and I am very angry at myself so I could find this little one I do love Tabasco and I bought some mozzarella cheese and also I bought some apple which are pretty expensive too I paid almost 4 euros just for a few of apples it's incredible and what I bought yesterday for Minoj so there's one thing about Minoj he loves caramel salty caramel so when I saw this it is a cherry caramel twisters like so hopefully he will like it I think there there is some salt in it as well it should be i hope so this is another french brand what is this where is coming from is i think it's somewhere from netherlands maybe i'm not very sure but this is going to be a, a halloween treat for minoj it was almost three euros and also i got for minoj some Corn snacks so that he can have it and I got sweet and seed snacks chili and berry this one actually I do love sweet but I think Minos doesn't hate either so maybe he can give a try this I got two because I want to eat two last but not least this is actually for me because you know she wouldn't like this it is uh, chocomelos basically marshmallow with chocolate and that's it
I have a very beautiful and pretty big olive tree branch here. It's now very dry and I don't need it anymore. I'm gonna cut it into pieces and put it in the fireplace. On se lève. Hmm? On se lève, I even made the nostrils, as you see, to a little hole. All right, there we go. Those are my spooky mushrooms. So they are skull. And I'm going to prepare the pizza sauce and the other ingredients.
Right now that my spooky pizza is in the oven, now I'm going to prepare a margarita. I want to make um, orange margarita, but I don't like the artificial color. So I'm going to use an orange, but I'm not really sure if it's going to work or not. my overcooked spooky pizza I think it's not bad at all I really like it it looks like school I love it happy to say that the pizza was a success I am so so happy about that because when you find something on Pinterest it is completely different than the reality but this time it's worked out so I'm very happy now it's time to pumpkin carving we are going to carve this pumpkin yeah, I was reading you know this part to see how I can make it but what I realized actually it's an edible pumpkin so what I'm gonna do it uh, which is a great thing actually uh, I will carve it and then I will take out whatever it has inside and make a soup and the outside of the pumpkin we are going to make a jack-o-lantern but now I need to wash this big bowl
Do I know him? And there it is. This is the final product. Do you like it? I think it's pretty nice.